Hey, hey, so for the second straight week, we are looking at a positive uh, Green Bay Packers special teams play. Uh, listen, I don't know what's going on either, man. Uh, you know, cats and dogs living together. It's mass hysteria. So we're going to take a look at this and see if we can. We look, walked through the one last week. That was uh, kind of walked through the, the the blocking scheme, and we got some help from that off an article from Ted Wynn. We're going to kind of fake our way through this one here. So let's watch the play first. So this is going to be uh, – we'll watch it from the sideline, and we'll kind of break it down from the end zone angle. So it's going to be a kick. And then that's going to be Nixon taking this five yards deep in the end zone. Just a massive, massive hole cuts through stiff arms, the kicker. And then it's just, just gone uh, is not taken down at the nine yard line. Like it was the previous week, just gone from the jump. There he is perfectly done. It's all, all beautiful. All right. So let's look at the end zone angle here. So we can figure out what's going on. Handful of different things. Um, so we've got, we'll kind of run this. We'll probably run this back a bunch of times. Again, my expertise if you can call it expertise is not in special teams. And so we're going to fake our way through this as best as we can. And as far as terminology, we probably won't talk too much about that. The one thing we will keep in mind here again is just the way these are numbered because we'll, that will come into play. So they're numbered the same way receivers are numbered from the outside in. So this is going to be the one to each side, and this is going to be the five to each side to so kind of number those outside in. And you've got, got the kicker there as well. This looks to be a shoot middle return. So they are they are looking kind of the same thing as last week, although the, the scheme is going to be differently. They're going to try to attack the middle of the field uh, with the return here. The main thing we're going to be watching, uh, a couple of things we're going to be watching, the blocking seemed to be good from the Packers perspective. This man right here for the Vikings seems that he switches over late. Now you can in different kickoff blocking stuff. You cross over, you got a point man, you follow. But the idea is you kind of you're running down, you're squeezing, and you've got different guys you can follow. But the whole thing with with I don't want to go too deep down that road, mainly because I don't know enough to really get that deep into it. Uh, but the idea is you're kind of the, the main idea in kick returns is lane integrity. So you're running down, you're squeezing, and you're trying to make that compact, not give a whole lot of lanes to rush through. And one of the big parts about that, again, you can switch over, but usually that's pretty early. So it's like a, a, a it'd be a kick return stunt, more or less, where you're kind of running down. Down and then you can swap over, but you do that, you know, 10 to 15 yards down the field in order to kind of confuse some blocking, play havoc with some of the return blocking and do some of that. This man here is going to do it late and we'll see how that kind of gets him sealed off and ends up uh, helping the Packers quite a bit. So we're going to watch because it looks like what they're going to be doing. The Packers are going to be kind of like single blocking down to this side to try to create a lane. I think they're doing the same thing on the other side. We'll, we'll watch it and we'll, we'll kind of look at this again. So here we go, blah, 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 run it forward, kick, kick, kick. They kind of go back and now this is where everything starts to set up. So we're gonna have, we've got blocking here. So we'll look at it from this side. I'm blocking there to kind of seal that off. You're gonna have, I believe it's gonna be there. He's going to turn in there. So you can see then, the, the, again, the shoot middle return. You're going to try to take out there. And this man in the middle, he's who we're looking at. Because you've got, he's the guy kind of sitting in the middle right there. You're blocking out. You're creating that wedge. Everything is, there's they're setting up to block. Bang. He looks like he is going to block number 43. So you've got that set up there. He's probably going to be looking that way. This is the matchup right here. He's looking to block that guy there. And the way he's kind of playing outside there a little bit, so it's going to be tough to maybe get the wedge there. He's going to have to kind of attack that outside shoulder to get him. But he is going to, this man is going to curl over that way at the last minute, which then allows the Packers to just block down. He kind of gets messed up in the wash there, or caught up in the, not messed up in the wash, caught up in the wash. And you can see the return right here. So that was 43, 43, 23. Can't remember who it is. There he is right there. He was here. The fact that he comes over here now allows all of that to just be all mashed up at that point. And then you've got it nicely blocked over here. You know, they've the, again, you've lost a guy over here to this side now. So you're blocking one of those guys over here. And you just got a really nice lane to run through there. Huge lane. And then with the only man back is the kicker. You can just see. I mean, you can see exactly how that looks. You've got a man free there. Comes off of this block. He's able to he's able to get free, but it doesn't really matter because by the time he gets free, Nixon's past him. 27 does a really nice job of locking up 24 there at the last minute through the hole. Not locking him up, I guess, just getting enough hands on him without holding. Without holding. And then Nixon makes a move on the punter. 
and he's gone. So that's what happened there. I mean, you've got some some nice blocking, some guys kind of getting in the way a little bit, and we'll kind of run this back one more time from the backside angle. We'll just watch the entire way down. We're going to watch that guy there. We're going to watch how that that late shift by him kind of opens up opens up that gap and has him get kind of caught in the muck of everything. So there he is running. He's right here. He's getting ready to run over. There he is running over. Caught in the muck. Nothing but a nice clean wedge in the middle. Nixon does a good job finding that huge gap, being a little shifty through the hole, making it through, stiff arming a kicker, and made running to glory. So, really nice. Keyshawn Nixon's just been just been absolutely insane. So again, kind of a combination of some some nice blocking up front, guys knowing their assignments, and one guy on the Viking side getting out of position, and that just kind of blows up the whole thing. So. Again, I don't know how informative this was. I'm enjoying looking at some of the special team stuff just because it's something I'm not overly familiar with. So I hope you learned something. Uh, I know I learned something today. So I hope you did as well. And I will talk to you next time. 